All right, so a little DIY on how to uh, change the spark plugs. So first things first, obviously, you take off the engine cover. Really self-explanatory. Hopefully you don't need video for that. Uh, this viewpoint is from the windshield looking forward at the engine. So these little clips, if you can see right here, they have just little tabs that you kind of use a flathead screwdriver. Just wedge it right in there. Just give it a small little turn. Just pull them right off one at a time. And this last one's always a little tight. One tip, uh, drive the car for a little bit before you uh, do this because these are really fragile. Very easy to break if the car is cold. So they all kind of slide back as one piece. To get uh, the coil packs out, I like to just give them a little pry, just nice and gentle, nothing crazy. have a little seal. So coil packs out. Put that aside. Spark plug wrench. Hopefully it's long enough. This one is not. Small little uh, tool interruption there. That's one I get. Yeah, I like to do these one at a time, just because stuff can fall in the engine or stuff can get dropped in. And once it's in, it's not easy to come out. plugs as you can see not looking the greatest shape but not too bad and these are the new NGK uh, BKR 8 EIX so one step colder than factory just a little bit of NACs on them and also gap them. If you have any questions about how to gap them, just look at my other video. Drop them in gentle. Get them started by hand. As far as torque specs, I think it's 25 newton meters, but today we're going with the old German method of good and tight. So 25 really isn't, you're not cranking them down. Just It's more than tight. Drop the coil back in. And make sure it's seated all the way. You hear it click nice. And on to the next one.
Well, same thing, just twist them back in my hand so you don't cross thread anything. Sometimes this happens. A little rubber tip that's on the spark plug wrench kind of gets left behind there. And you gotta fish it out. As you can see, no editing on this channel. We include all the fuck ups. So, this one's coming back out. So, yeah, if you do that, just take out that little rubber boot that's in the spark plug wrench because. You just saw why. It'll get stuck you know, every single time. As far as dropping them in and damaging the electrode or anything like that, it's such a tight fit that there's no way you're going to damage the electrode. In. Just quick. A little too much cheddar on removing the rubber, but it's not a big deal. Just gonna drop this guy in. Now when you're putting the plugs in for the first time, that washer that's on there always crushes a little. So it does have to get turned a little more than you would think. Click. use the coil to get the plug out of there as well. A little 
maintenance. A little maintenance on the old girl, yes sir. Gotta do it eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably fix some stuff on my car someday. Yeah, if you need help, just let me know. Someday, one day. It's been windy like that this whole time. It's gonna be freezing on the hands. It's not too bad. No, it just toughens you up. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go be a pussy up here. <laughs> <laughs> Later, James. Drop the last coil in. Good little click. Make sure they're all in. Line up the wiring. It all kind of goes together in one. You just click. 